Hi, it's James Mitchell. Here's another video on workshop software. I really hope you get some great value from it and you enjoy it. All the best. Hi, welcome to this video about the auto inspection program and how to actually set it up and all of the settings and templates and so on. So let's go take a look. If you go into inspections, there's a few things on the menu here. So first up, we're gonna go into settings. Now these are relatively simple sort of things that you wanna set up. Uh, one of them being the default uh, product or the default labor item that you're going to put onto the system. So in this instance, I'm gonna choose LAB, which is my labor line. So you might have some other labor line set up in your system, that's up to you. Uh, there's some simple contact information. Uh, do you want to hide the costs when you send it to the customer? Do you want to hide the estimated hours? Uh, do you want to notify the workshop when it gets approved? And do you want to notify it uh, on, on refusal? Those are both emails that get sent. So do you want to get be sent an email when a customer approves an item and when a customer gets refused, refuses an item. Note that you can see those in the dashboard automatically. So you don't have to have them on. You'll still be able to see what's been approved and what's been refused within the dashboard itself. So there's some fairly simple uh, pieces of information. They're important because this stuff comes up on the customer's uh, actual process when they actually receive the inspection. So that's important from a sales perspective. You want to make sure that you've got the right contact details. You want to say, uh, it says that you can get in contact with them and that's an important part of the process. So let's now go to groups. So the groups, uh, we've got a few default groups set up under here. You can go and add a new group if you want. It's fairly straightforward. There's a code for it and then there's the actual description. So these are the areas of the template that you'll see in just a second that you can allocate uh, items to. So again, fairly simple sort of setup. So the next bit is the template. Now this is actually setting up a inspection itself, right? So in here, for example, we've got, if I have a look at the complementary reliability and safety check, here and open that up, you'll see that we've got section number one or group number one here. And its order is actually, so there's four groups in here. So you one, two, three, four, so you can actually change this. So if you want to put this at the bottom, you could, it's now at the bottom. And so uh, interior has become number one. So if you want to, we just better go down and change that back to order number one again and so that means that under bonnet comes up the top so you can change the order of these things pretty straightforward and then you've got the individual items that you're going to do so you've got what order they become in so we've got one two three four five six seven items within this section or this group right so if i wanted to add an extra one in here i can just click the plus sign it automatically makes it eight you can change it if you want and then you've got the actual detail of something that you're going to put in here which is pretty important so you've got green yellow red which is the you know tick the box uh, which colors are going to be green is all okay yellow means it needs attention and red means got to fix it now so if I wanted to make this item uh, check uh, break discs, okay, what I could do is under the product code, I can actually put in a product that belongs to that particular uh, repair or check that we're actually doing. So in this case, it's the disc break uh, service, right? Uh, so you can allocate that product code to it. If you don't want to allocate a product code to it, that's absolutely fine. And probably most of the time you won't. It'll just use the default product that's set up in the system file itself. So you can see all these other ones don't have any products against them. Okay, they're, they're all just left blank. And that's probably how you would operate it most of the time. But if you've got something special that you want to do and you've already got a job code already configured for that, you can attach that job code to that particular item itself. So let's go and have a look at a couple of other things. So the carry out is purely a, did you do something, yes or no? You can have an input. So if you wanted to put an input into the system here, uh, you can say, I want to go and check uh, the voltage level of the battery. What's the voltage, le voltage level of the battery? You can actually write in an input. When you actually do it, it'll put in a, a field in the system so that you can actually put in a value. The other thing is tires. Now what the tires will do is if you've got something that's called check the tires or, or tire pressure, let's say, 
And let's just say for argument's sake, I'm gonna go and save that down the bottom. And I'm just gonna show you, we're just gonna go and do a new inspection and I'm just going to find a customer, um, my favorite customer, choose the visual check. And you'll notice that in here, you've got this tire pressure. So you've got the left front, right front, left back, right back. So you can put the actual tire pressures in there and they will appear on the customer's um, inspection report, which is really cool. So let's just go back for a second under the templates and just jump into that uh, safety check once again. Um, so there we go, the tire pressure. So that's pretty much it. So if you wanted to reorder this and make that number four in the list, you know, you can do that. It jumps into number four. Uh, if we want to delete it, we can delete this item off the uh, system as well. So we can do that too. And we can go down and save it and that will be removed from the actual inspection too. And just for complete clarity, if I wanted to create a brand new inspection, I can just click on the plus side, give it a name, give it a description, and then I select the group that I'm in or that I want to start with and start adding items into it, okay? And away we go, right? So that's order number one. I'm gonna go and put something in here, read, you know, do something or check something or whatever. And then I can go and add another plus and put a new item in. I can choose a new group. So I'm gonna do tires or something like that and go plus. Um, put some details in there. I'm going to then have another one, which is underbody, and I can go plus, and away we go. So hopefully you get the idea that the groups are these items here, these interior and so on, interior, tires, underbody, and so on, and you can make them whatever you want. You can edit those. You can add new ones. It's completely up to you. And then the individual items that appear that I've added just under here are the actual items. If we just jump back into that inspection once again and take a look you can actually see that those things, so this is the group, right? And th this is the group and these are the items within the group, okay? So group and items within group and so on. So as you can see, it's fairly straightforward to set up. Uh, once you get up and running, I think it's you know super simple to use and super effective for you to communicate and get more work from your customers. Hope you love it. Hope you get great value. As always, thanks a lot.